Hi everybody, my name is Mark Adahar. I'm here with Dr. Tatiana Batista, uh, who's going to be, uh, or who's actually managing uh, Alan's uh, medical weight loss portion. Um, and so um, a lot of questions have been coming in about like what medications is he on and, and how, how they work and if they can get it. And so uh, just to clarify things, uh, we wanted to make this video to get a little bit deeper in about what Alan is receiving. Uh, hi, Tatiana. Hello. Um, okay, so what medications do we have Alan on? So one of the medications we're using is the first line for weight loss. It's called Phentermine. Um, Phentermine is uh, very safe and effective in the correct uh, person. Um, the uh, the Phentermine works by uh, decreasing uh, appetite and increasing the energy that the body uses. Okay, so. And how long is a person usually on for the phentermine? So the phentermine is used for a short term, uh, about six months is the most we advise. And during that time, we monitor uh, the patient's uh, blood pressure and make sure they're not having any side effects. Like what side effects? The side effects we can get from phentermine most commonly are dry mouth, so you have to drink a lot of water. Uh, you, can, you have to take it in the morning, otherwise it can cause insomnia. Um, and lastly, uh, it can cause a little bit of um, increased heart rate or blood pressure, so that's why we have to monitor the, the blood pressure. Okay. Uh, some people have mentioned that they've read that it's addicting. Right. So, uh, phentermine does have mildly addictive pro properties, but it is not something that we worry short term. Okay. We worry about short so, term. if somebody would have to take it for a while in order to get addicted? Yes, they would have to take it for a, a very long time years in order to get addicted. In six months, your body cannot get addicted to phentermine. It's not highly addictive. Oh. Yeah. So who cannot take phentermine? Phentermine is, are not, we, we do not advise that people with uncontrolled blood pressure, uh, with anxiety, or I would say people older than 65, I would probably avoid phentermine. Uh, and the, in those cases, there are other medications? There are other medications we can use, absolutely. And those medications are uh, also safe and effective. They're just, um, not every medication is for everyone. Okay. So we have already started Alan on the Phentermine. Uh, and um, so far it seems like it's, it's going well. Now, what else, what, what other medications is he on? So for Alan, uh, we decided also to add the Topamax. Topamax is a medication that a lot of people know uh, because it's used for migraines. Um, when they were doing studies with Topamax, they found that people were also losing weight. And so they added it to a weight loss medication and it does help in the area of the brain that decreases cravings. And that's how it helps someone lose weight as well. So we added that to Alan's uh, me medical weight loss therapy and that will just help him weight, you know, his weight loss a little, even a, a little bit more. So it works in a little different way than the phentermine does? Exactly. So the phentermine works more by increasing metabolism, decreasing appetite. This one works in a different region of the brain by decreasing cravings to foods. Okay, and how long will he be on that? So the Topamax we can use for a long, long time. Um, Topamax doesn't have any serious side effects. It's not addictive, and it can be used past six months if we need to. And is there anybody who can't take the Topamax? The only people that cannot use Topamax might be someone who's allergic to Topamax, but there's really no other contraindication. Oh, uh, pregnant women, of course, can't use Topamax. Why? Um, it is a category uh, for, oh. it, it, it is not safe in pregnancy or breastfeeding, but neither is phentermine. Oh, so if you're breastfeeding, you can't take either one? You can't. Okay. No. So while Alan's on these medications, we're gonna be monitoring his weight and his blood pressure and all that stuff. Correct. Making sure it So what, let's say for example, after three months, he's doing everything and he's not losing that much weight um, or that you'd expect. What, is there another medication that we would try? Yeah, so there are uh, multiple other medications we can try. Um, there's three other oral medications we can try and uh, some of them, um, are all actually very, very safe and have no side effects like Dalvik and Contrave. Um, there is another medication called Saxenda that's also for weight loss. That one is, is actually an injection. Mm. Um, I have used that one before as well. It's very effective. 
Uh, and but these medications are not first line because they're more expensive. Oh, I see. And so, yeah. like a course of, let's say a course of fentramine and Topamax, how much does each one? How much would each one cost? Fentramine normally costs at the most twenty five dollars a month. Okay. And Topamax, uh, most insurance is covered. It's generic. It costs about ten dollars with insurance. Oh, so uh, so insurances will cover these medications. Insurances cover some of these medications. Fentramine sometimes, uh, the Topamax almost always, and the some of the other ones, the insurance will cover with prior authorization sometimes as well. Okay. Um, okay. I think is there anything else? I think that was pretty much it. Uh, that's all. All the questions I have. Yeah, I think that's all. Uh, we just you know, we're. We, we definitely personalize your treatment, so it's, you know, some medications may be right for you, some could not, so we just, we have to see you, evaluate you, and we'll know which one is better, you know? Yeah. So, just to be clear, you definitely recommend that a doctor follow you while you're taking these medications. Yes. Because these medications, I know, can be bought online, Correct. you know, and, or off the black market or whatever. Yeah, make sure that you are seeing a doctor. Um, or a professional to help you make sure you're taking the correct doses, the correct medication, and, and that you're monitored. Perfect. Yes. All right, great. So if, uh, if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. If you want to come see Dr. Batista, uh, the phone number will be in the description at the end of the, end of the presentation. Thanks. Thank Bye.